The Knitting and Crochet Guilds collection in a 100 object project aimed to make the collection more accessible by digitalising some of the items we hold. We have shown you a hundred objects. Now we want to highlight a few special ones. In this video, I will show you the most loved item. When we posted the 100 items to our Instagram and Facebook pages, we recorded the reactions we got to them. I have this wonderful lace scarf to show you today. Hand knitting is one of the three crafts represented in our collection, and this shawl is very delicate but you can see the amazing geometric patterns and the beautiful scallop edging. Shawls and scarves are popular items to knit because they're a great first project and then you can add lots of details for the more experienced knitter. We think this shawl was made in Shetland, a place famous for their knitting tradition, and the Shetland lace of this stole is so beautiful and delicate and many of you commented just that. <laughs> it is made with very fine two-ply yarn, so it would have taken ages to make. A shawl like this is like water over your shoulders when you wear it. We would love to see scarves and shawls and stoles that you have made using fine yarn. Share with the hashtag KCG100. Let's have a look at some of the other knitted items we have featured in the 100 Objects project. First up, this cockle shell lace scarf from Day 9 is made using Shetland wool and was definitely knitted in Shetland because for this one we have a label. The beautiful natural colours of the yarn make the stripes and highlight the zigzag pattern from the lace. Lace is a popular shawl and scarf texture because it can make a light flowy fabric. I also want to show you this beautiful child's jumper. It's hand knitted with fair isle stripes. It is made using an unusual origami technique where a flat piece of knitting is folded into shape. I wanted to show you how the origami folding works, so I have this copy of the paper pattern. As you can see, the pattern is a hexagon shape with slits on either side and horizontal stripes. There are places such as the slits and the neck hole where you have to cast off and then cast back on again. Um, once you have folded it, like so, it forms a T-shape. You fold the slits in like that. Um, to finish it, you sew the seams and then you pick up for the rib sections on the cuffs, the bottom and the neckline. It creates a great diagonal fair isle pattern from your horizontal stripes. And as you can see in this particular specimen, they have created a wonderful colour palette. By folding it like this and seaming on these edges, you can create a 3D jumper from a flat piece of knitting without having to battle with those pesky set-in shoulder seams. So we think it's a great design. If you'd like to see all 100 objects from the project, click out, check out the collections page on our website, kcgills.org.uk, and you can also find all the posts on our Instagram and Facebook pages where everyone has been commenting with their own stories about the items. We hope you get involved.